Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your first half of July of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For this reading, I've been guided to the Sacred Traveler's Deck by Denise Lynn. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Gemini or groups of Geminis need to hear this information most. First half of July of 2023. Oh, look at what's coming to mind for Geminis at the very beginning of July. Some form of unexpected miracle. Wow. If it hasn't shown up at the very beginning of July, Spirit saying expect it to emerge very shortly. Yeah, because what's coming to mind is this beautiful gateway to triumph. This realization that success is expanding in your life. Maybe you're going to be going through a new doorway uh, regarding a business or organization. Uh, a new doorway when it comes to a new home. Uh, and in the relationship sector, we have the Navigating by the Stars card. So Spirit is saying, as you connect with others, follow your bliss. Do what you love. Uh, success is expanding. And uh, it's like, take some time at night to just look at the stars, give thanks to the universe, and continue to do you. Okay, in the creative aspects position. Things get a little bit foggy, right? I've been working on something, some form of doorway or miracle is opening up for me. So when I'm a bit conflicted, I know that Spirit's saying, slow down, uh, look at the stars, uh, trust that uh, Spirit has got your back here. Oh my goodness, Gemini. So in the actions position, there's not much action that you need to take at this time because you've already put a lot of effort in. Okay, so the, a fresh new you is being born and spirit saying take action to allow this new form of living uh, to emerge in your life. So someone's doing well financially. Someone's been working on a hobby, gift, talent, skill, and there's like uh, you're being reborn from the ashes. The difficulties are fall, fall, falling away and there's like you're rising to a higher experience in your life in the first half of July of 2023. Look at emotionally. This child is looking up at the sun, at the universe, and, and spirit saying, open your heart to the joy of the miracle that is expanding in your life at this time. For subconsciously, we have the crossing the bridge card, bridges card. So it's time to connect with new people, uh, to uh, mend and release. Uh, what needed to heal in the past, uh, to let this new joy come into your life. So day to day, we have the voyage of the heart energy. Some form of love uh, is flowing into you and through you. Okay, uh, so basically spirit saying, even though things are getting a little bit foggy, uh, let what's coming in uh, go through you. Experience this experience fully. Um, and open your heart to the joy of this success that is transpiring in your life. So in the inner strengths position, yeah. So Spirit's giving the Gemini the strength to surrender to the journey, to just kind of uh, connect with new people and trust that uh, you're crossing into a higher experience at this time and the past is just going to kind of be released or uh, dissipate. So it's kind of like some form of miracle is transpiring so that you can release uh, what you were carrying in the past so that you can now open your heart to a very joyful new direction. Some of you may be actually traveling um, maybe closer to mid-July here into the direction of some form of miracle, some form of new experience, location, uh, a form of living, maybe a greater money to the point where you can um, update where you live, uh, how you live, and so on. Look at this. On the bottom of the deck, we have stepping into power. So Spirit saying you are strong beyond measure. Uh, you are strong enough uh, to uh, receive what you have worked for. Okay, so yeah, we have clear the past, heal in the present, right? It's like the rain is washing the past off of you. 
uh, there's this healing and releasing taking place. So just stay focused uh, because you are going to reach your destination. Okay, if it doesn't show up in the very beginning of July, it is going to be showing up uh, <clears throat> in the first half of July for many Geminis. Spirits are saying, believe in the magic for eventually uh, you will be expanding your horizons. You are exactly where you are meant to be right now. Uh, just trust that even though you've been sitting in solitude quite a bit, working in your own space, uh, a breakthrough is at hand. The wondrous universe is going to shower blessings into your life because they are also showering away what needed to be healed and let go of. Wow. So I'm actually thinking about confirming and clarifying and closing this reading with the Gypsy Oracle deck. So uh, I'm going to ask Spirit to confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for Gemini in the first half of July. Yeah. <laughs> so let your light shine. I think people are going to see you shining, like in a way you never have before. But you may be a little bit uh, protective, defensive, worried about the success, the doorways that are opening up for you. In the relationship sector here's that service business organization coming in spirit saying follow your bliss do what you love follow your heart uh, and let what's coming flow through you let it come to you even though there will be times where you're a little bit unsure during this creative process spirit saying um, that the an angel is going to uh, come and bring you uh, a gift as a result of what you've been creating, what you've been working towards. So we have a little bit of melancholy, melancholy during the first half of June. Um, and I think Spirit's just saying this is a time of uh, transfer, transformation and of receiving the gifts from the universe. Uh, so don't allow yourself to fall into boredom or discontent. Uh, trust that there is something wondrous emerging in your life, even if it hasn't shown up yet. So look at that. Messages, some form of messages, email, text, phone call, however it uh, shows up. Spirit saying, open your heart to the joy of what this is. Uh, crossing a bridge, healing, releasing. <clears throat> some of you are releasing a connection uh, tied to the past. Uh, and now it's like spirit, I think, is saying for singles. It's in this exciting new direction uh, of miracles unfolding for you, whereby a message comes from someone um, where there could be a deeper commitment, partnership, or contract. Yes, so day to day, let love flow through you and to you as you observe what is on offer here. Yes, uh, surrender to the journey. I feel like someone is like, oh my gosh, something's transpired. Um, I know I need to let my light shine. I'm just a little bit conflicted about this communication. And spirit, of course, is saying, go slow, take your time. Um, release control as to how this is going to unfold, when, and so on. Now, <clears throat> if you are a single Gemini, uh, you may be trying to decipher marriage commitment partnership. And I think what Spirit's saying is, you know, let someone communicate with you. And if they're walking in their ego, if they're cold or closed off, then they're just not the right one. Uh, keep on keeping on. You have risen or are rising to a higher spiritual awareness. Um, and Spirit's trying to bring you a gift from the universe uh, via maybe a service business organization, maybe a dating service uh, or through a business you meet someone new in this new direction, and that, therefore, could be the reason for the gift from the universe. But if someone cannot be trusted or you're fearing that, uh, give yourself or give them some time to kind of unfold before you. Conversations bring passion, endings, and endings. There's a surprise realization, um, yeah, of someone not being truthful here. I feel like that is in a personal relationship. Spirit's saying don't overthink it. Put them in the friend zone. Because someone's over-researching a connection. <clears throat> Pardon me. 
Now, I do feel like there is this Lord energy coming in, someone who's in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, stable, and secure, and you're going to be researching uh, some form of fortune, uh, some form of offer or opportunity that's going to bring you a lot of cheerfulness. You may just be fearing, again, how it's going to unfold, um, but let the universe guide you. Yeah, someone's really hoping to reunite with someone else with this thief energy. And the thief is someone who comes and goes and then steals your peace of mind. So spirit's saying, surrender, go away, leave troubled waters behind if that's the case. Yes, there is a battle of falseness versus faithfulness, right? So are they a faithful, committed person? If not, spirit's trying to guide you into the direction of that. Uh, there could be an offer, an opportunity coming in that is confusing this Gemini, and they're trying to figure out, <clears throat> should I trust this service, business, or organization? And Spirit's saying, regardless of what it is in the first half of July of 2023, Gemini, have hope for you again with the transformation and the butterfly. There's a fresh new way of experiencing your life ahead of you. So if you've been feeling stuck or trapped in your circumstances, spirit saying a gift, remember, maybe in the form of this messenger, messenger card, uh, some form of kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, invitations, or legal paperwork. But there is a surprise showing up for you. <clears throat> some may be going to a wedding in the first half of July, and you meet someone that you are surprised to see or meet. But again, uh, give something some time. Let your light shine, but if they are cold, closed off, or the thief energy, don't waste your time. You've got greater things uh, transpiring for you. You know, this doorway to triumph is uh, going to open up and bring you greater joy so that you can heal and release those who don't deserve to be in this journey with you. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey or you just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading uh, one month uh, for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. I just want to say a great big thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Uh, to those of you who come to me for month to month readings, and to those of you who've been gifting these readings to others, thank you so very much. And most importantly, Thank you for all of your donations, for that's what keeps this channel up and running day to day. Take care, and God bless.